by using a proper data management system you will be able to store data correctly what I mean by store data correctly it is not enough to have the data it should be stored in a proper way and this could be verifying the data while you are storing it and storing it in effective way which it will not take a space I know that you may say I don't care about the space I have 100 gigabyte hard disk so I don't care about the space no the size of the information is directly linked with the performance of your sheets so if you are opening a sheet which is 40 megabyte in size you should expect that it will be very slow so storing data correctly will reduce your size data size and will increase your uh, performance your sheets performance so first of all we need to store the data correctly second we need to access our data easily I need to open the sheet as we told, as we said before it will be performing uh, very well and it will be uh, the, uh, fast in the opening operating and doing uh, various calculations so I need to store my data correctly I need to access my data easily and I need to be able to search in my data imagine you have you want now in your current project to know what was the progress the actual progress in week number 12 you have to go back and find and search in your reports to find the report which is telling you what was the progress in week number 12. in our course we will end up with a database that you can easily click a button and you will find what was the information in a certain date so searching data is very important and this is one of the main purposes to uh, do this course and to learn it and I promise you it will be it will be very simple and you will find the value at the end of this course verifying your data it is not only about storing data it, you should verify that the data you stored is correct and we learn in this course how to verify the data also we need to avoid rework what I, what I mean by rework here I used to have a project where I got the daily report from the construction team and my team spent hours to just regenerate all the daily reports to, in order to uh, put it in the updates so this is a type of rework we already have the information why we should do a rework rework mean and uh, producing same data in another format by using a database concept this shouldn't take more than a minute you have the data you can produce it in very different ways so we are avoiding rework and reuse same data many times with different outputs you can't imagine if you have let's say a report and you are doing this report in your traditional way you are showing up that the project is let's say you you selected the first work breakdown structure or wbs is a stage then the zone then the type of work what if your manager asked you to reserve the order of your report he want to know the report by the stage of work then the zone then whatever else i know that you are if you if you are using pivot tables you can do it easily but even in the traditional way of pivot tables without linking different tables together you will find some difficulties to produce such report it will take long time from you what i'm offering you here in this course that i'll tell you how effectively you can first create the database link different tables together and you can use pivot tables to uh, make a report with one column from here one column from there and one column from another table and it will be perfectly linked 
So reusing the data as many times as we want. And by using the different data, we can create new outputs. For example, in our course, we'll discuss how to calculate the actual spent hours only from the daily report. And we will create a report telling our management what are the most effective items that we saved uh, working hours on it and what are the activities in our project that we spent more hours than what we planned. So we are going to compare the actual spent hour with the planned hours and we will make the productivity performance. This is not an information we are putting. We are just gathering bits and pieces of information from different places and generating new outputs from it.